What causes Bell palsy? 3. Other risk factors. Several other factors may contribute to the development of Bell's palsy, although their exact role is not fully understood. These factors include History of viral infections. Individuals who have had a previous viral infection, such as a respiratory infection or the flu, may have a higher risk of developing Bell's palsy. Family history. There may be a genetic predisposition to developing Bell's palsy, as it appears to occur more frequently in certain families. Diabetes. People with diabetes may have an increased risk of developing Bell's palsy. Pregnancy. Pregnant women, particularly during the third trimester, have a slightly higher risk of developing Bell's palsy, although the reasons for this are not fully understood. It's important to note that while viral infections, particularly HSV1, are associated with Bell's palsy, not everyone with a viral infection will develop the condition. Most cases of Bell's palsy resolve spontaneously within a few weeks to months, and treatment may involve medications to reduce inflammation, manage symptoms, and promote recovery. If you suspect you may have Bell's palsy, it is recommended to consult a healthcare professional for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate management.